everyone welcome back to my channel uh, Claudia Henderson Creations and uh, today I thought uh, I promised you a couple of tutorials with scrapbook layouts now um, I don't really have a process video for any of those I might find a few kits that I still can redo and show you but at least I want to give you a little bit ideas of um, how you can get a lot of pictures on your pages without compromising the overall look of your page. And I know this is sometimes a little bit hard to imagine. So for me, I have two challenges. If I use my own pictures, that makes it way easier to um, create a page and to design around my pictures because I know exactly what I wanna put on there. So um, this is one way of approaching um, your layouts. The other way is what I often do is I create kits. And these are usually pre-done pages that I sell on crops or I do them for, <clears throat> excuse me, or I do them for um, uh, my crops so as a little incentive as a thank you for everybody that came or my vip groups you name it so there are different ways why i do <laughs> those layouts and for those i don't have pictures naturally i don't know what your pictures are going to be that you want to put in here and um that sometimes can be a little bit challenging also it's sometimes a little bit easier so it it, it is you know has its pros and cons so in this case, this was a layout I designed for uh, my uh, friends that attended my very first crop that I hosted this year. And they got all the pieces and I made them all a nice little um, sketch. So this is the sketch that they, they received, which um, I designed in Design Space. So if you have a Cricut, um, this is actually pretty nice. You can change your elements. You can put elements in there. You can change the color. So get, you know, a visual of um, what your page might look like at the end. So this is what they got, just so they know where the parts go. And then um, they had a few little extras. So one thing was I made a little um, template here or stencil that they could use. And naturally, I don't have one here, um, which had just three different circles. And that's what they used here in the background with a little bit ink. I don't know if you can see this, but um, there are a couple of different um, circles in here just to fill in the gap because otherwise it was pretty white. I mean, you could leave it that way if you like it. And maybe instead of doing, if you don't want to do it a stencil or you don't have a stencil, you can use a black pen and do a little bit outline just something to fill in the spaces i also at the end um i do my little black dots uh, here and there but i also added stickles uh, so this is just regular gold stickles and um that needs to dry and when you put it on so they didn't use it during the crop but everybody has it at home so they could do that at home at the end too and naturally if you have other things you can apply to that's fine too so I designed this in mind for a year of pictures. You maybe take like, let's say once a month, you take a picture and you just capture your favorite moments of 2024 on this page. So yes, you have room for 24 pictures. They are all three by threes. So you have to downsize. And I know for some people it's hard to cut pictures, but it is a good thing um, to cut your pictures once in a while. Because if you have all the same sizes over and over, the bigger ones especially, um, it kind of looks boring at one point in time. So these are, yeah, they're all the same sizes too, but due to the way they are, you know, distributed over the page, I think it's kind of like um, giving you a nice overlook. And that was for, like I said, my idea for this layout. Now, for example, I had one lady who said, well, that's actually perfect. I have a little, um, I have a little grandson that's coming and I can make a picture of him from every month of that year. And I said, perfect. So she might change the title a little bit, but that's all, you know, that's the beauty of when you get a sketch and you have a kit, uh, you can change things up. Now, I just noticed I forgot to put strings in here. So, yeah, there should be some Baker's twine in here. But um, other than that, the elements are pretty simple. So once I have my pictures on here, 
um, these are just strips of papers and as you can see this one here is let's see three and a half um, then this one is one and a half this one is a half so they're all different sizes and um, um, going down here and then this one is the same I just had a little bit gold um, glitter paper in here and another gray strip just to combine the whole thing here are your journaling spots and you could put down numbers and put little numbers underneath them there's different ways um, I also use some of the swirlies they are just cut with the Cricut including these leaves from one of my Cricut uh, designs um, cartridges and then um, these swirls are cut from one of the close to my heart crickets uh, cartridges and also the leaves and then these little tags this is something I always have on hand because they always make nice embellishments just some neutral elements so with a few elements a few pieces of paper you can get a nice layout done in no time and I think this one turned out kind of cute and like I said, if you're not familiar familiar with sketches, so you find them all over the internet. Um, I have them in my private group on Facebook too. That I, when I see something, I um, put them in there. So if anybody is looking for something, uh, sometimes they're just single layouts. Sometimes they're double page layouts. Um, they usually don't give you measurements. Um, they just give you an overall look, and. Um, I think it's not too hard to kind of like guesstimate how wide this is because it all depends on if you have strips of paper left from a kit that you used and you want to use them so one might be a little bit wider the other one a little bit smaller but you can always even that out that's really not that hard to do and uh, you know that these are 12 by 12 pages a 12 by 12 inch page so you know how long they have to be so that's pretty easy and then the same is going across here with the strip so um it's usually somewhere between three how much is this one here let's see that green one is two and a half in this case but then you have half an inch of that gray color so this is three inches in total and um these are kind of like the, the you know numbers to start with and you just have to make sure they're evened out. Other than that, you have free range. And um, whatever you use as decoration, since this was designed for not knowing what pictures go in there, I had to keep it neutral. So leaves always work. Um, swirls always work. And if you need extra flowers or something, you can always add them. You know, use a white flower, color them in. in or if you happen to have the same paper or just do a pop of color do some pink ones in here I mean you know you have ways to go around but these sketches are really easy to follow and are always nice to have so this is layout number one and like I said there are 12 um, pictures on here uh, if you are interested in a kit that you see here because some of them like I said I created for um, crops or for my VIP groups, um, just comment down below and um, contact me and I can see if I can get you one. So this was another fun layout we made last year on a crop. Um, I offered this for my ladies so they had to do a little bit stamping here. And this is just one of our awesome background stamps with um, dots, but you can use any stamp you have in your stash. Um, this is design paper, so this is the front and the back side of the same paper. This is cardstock, and this cardstock we actually stamped with another background step, tone and tone. And as you can see, then we just repeat the two pages. So it, literally, it's one sheet of um, design paper, and you use both sides of it. And the strips are two inches wide. So you have five strips, each of five inches, and then they're between 10 inches and nine and a half. And again, not knowing what people would like to use this for. I mean, it is a little bit winter themed or fall at least. And those little owls were just too cute. They were a stamp of the month at that time. 
so we used those they had to color them in a little bit and then i added some leaves again like i said leaves always work um they were cut with by, with the cricket and then we have our pictures so um i'm not a person that does a lot of pages with just one picture um at least two usually and then often i sometimes add a flip flap you know these um um that we have the to add extra photos to your layout and i will show you them in a different video but um just to keep it kind of like clean because the more pictures you put on a page naturally the um how do you say the more it gets kind of busy so sometimes it's nice to clean it up and have just two nice pictures to show but on the other hand just add extras without even people sometimes knowing that there are more pictures because it's not obvious at the first look so um, i try to put more pictures and then just two but again since i don't know what pictures you will use um i always try to stay with the common si sizes so one of my favorite sizes is the three by four and then also the three by three um these are right now on this page here so you have two three by fours and the three by three so you have a four pictures here you have six on this side that's a total of 10 pic uh, pictures right here on those two pages and can you substitute sure you can make one four by six it's just going to be taller and longer uh, or this one um, you can um, change these it's just for me when i design them i have to you know commit to one size and that has to fit in this case all i purposely did not put a title to it because um, like i said it was on a crop so you're a little bit time um, constrained there uh, when they put these together but it's also the opportunity for them to just title your own um, layout depending on what you want to use it for you know it could be a snowball fight it could be just picking out the christmas tree um the dog in the snow i don't know what you're using for so title is up to you and then as a little detail they also went around and this is just with a plain pencil like two times around the whole page and i always like to um stop when there's like a stamped image in the way or an embellishment to um you know let this element show so i just stop with my doodles in between here or here it just makes it more interesting so yeah that's a quick page uh with just a few strips of paper 10 pictures on it and a little bit of decoration um again this was one of the layouts we did for uh at a crop so the ladies had to sign up and usually 40 minutes or so they were done <laughs> sometimes it takes longer because we talk too much but um that's all good because you know they just are there to have fun and to learn a few new techniques so um yeah if you're interested in this one let me know then we have another set of uh, layout that we did this year on a uh, crop and spring and this one just combines a couple of different techniques so um, number one we did a little bit ink smushing with distress oxide inks that's why they are still a little bit wobbly because of the water but if you have never worked with those they're kind of fun to uh, put a little bit extra color behind um your layout so uh, without them it would have been a lot of white space which for some people or cream color in this case for some people that's fine um for me it was a little bit too white so i had to add a little bit extra to it and uh to stay with the theme so this is a little bit more romantic layout um we have two stripes of design paper and just one stripe of glitter paper in the middle and that's pretty much all the design paper I used on this layout. I did put photo mats down. So these are six by fours. So you got three of those. And then we have three four by threes. And um, so a total of, do we have eight, six pictures on here. And um, <clears throat> again, here are our little tags again, you know, to just 
do a little bit decoration for your clusters. And the flowers, they are kind of a fun technique that I taught this time. They are actually stamped on um, a piece of watercolor paper. So what I did was, let me show you. I just used plain watercolor paper and watercolors and just made a really splodgy background. And you can use um, Distrex ox Oxide inks if you have them. And the watercolor paper, the nice thing is it's a little bit thicker. So that worked well. I let it dry completely. And once it was dry, I stamped these flowers in gray. And I could have stamped them in black, but we were doing a little technique with them. So gray was actually nicer color because it sits a little bit in the background. And then they had to use a black pen. And you can use any black pen, you know, like these ones here, a little bit thicker. And they had to go around the flower. So they had to start like, you know, around each leaf and not carefully going right around the edges. I wanted them to go loosely around each of those, like three times. And they had to do this with all three flowers. And then when they were done, we were also doing a few little um, lines on the inside of the flower here to emphasize a little bit more um, the dimension, you know, that it's got wrinkles there. And once they were done with that, they had to cut them out by hand. And if you got a, your lines a little bit too far out here, you just cut around them, cut one off. It doesn't really matter. And at the end, you're left with this type of flower. As you can see, you still can see somewhat the distressed, uh, the, the stamped image, but you also see the black pen that I used and the extras that we put in here um, just to give them a little bit more dimension. And by just curling them up a little bit, uh, that's pretty much all the dimension they got. Um, I used regular adhesive and they're flat on the paper. So there's no uh, foam adhesive underneath or anything. But since the uh, watercolor paper is a little bit sturdier, um, you can bend those edges nicely up and they will stay that way. And here's another look. And I will do some uh, close-up shots too of the flowers. So really fun. As you can see here, there's the stamped image, but then there are the lines of the pencil, or the pen that we use, the black pen. And in the center, we just did a big glob of uh, clear stickles and let it dry. And then for decorations, you have your little tags, like I said before. We did use leaves again. Never can have too much leaves. So if you cut leaves, make sure you have a few extras. I always have a box um, with extra leaves in there where just when I need some, I just pull them out and um, work with them so I don't have to cramp them through the machine or cut them with a Cricut. And then we also needed a couple of phrases. So that was the other um, thing is since we don't really have a title, but I like to, it, normally I would use like sticker phrases or something I might have in a set. But since this is pre-designed, um, you know, from me, I don't have stickers really to use. So I had to come up with something else. And um, to show you, so this is the stamp set actually that I use. It's called Remember This Moment. And I was just looking through and trying to find some um, phrases that are a little bit more um, every day. So captured moment memories um, is one, which worked fine. Um, then there is one in here that says living the good life. That's another one right here. And life is a beautiful right, same thing. What is it? It's, it's right down here. Or good things take time. So there are a couple that are more versatile and can be used for multiple things. And I figured um, whatever you use your pictures for. I mean, if you don't like them, you just leave them off or you flip the strip around and stamp your own phrase on there. But I figured they go well with pictures that, you know, could be birthday pictures, could be just anniversary pictures, prom from the prom pictures, you name it, um, that would work um, as a, f you know, capture as a phrase. So yeah, and then we did again with the pencil. So I like to go sometimes just with the pencil because 
if you do a boo boo you just erase it just don't push too hard if you use a black pen that's great too um but that sometimes then um stays so you can't change it so that is another layout if you're interested to do that one let me know i can do also a video about this one because i know i have a few kids left of this this one so and that um here is an interesting view so this layout i actually this is a close to my heart um, kit and it's called cut above kit it's from january february and we might still have it in stock i have to see but um this is the layout as it was planned and this is their base and i really like the idea of these patches of um, different design paper and um, i thought well i can use this and just do um, something different with it so i went ahead and um, went back to my cricut and in design space i just um, started to lay out my pieces so i didn't go all the way like they did here with you know those two pieces i have one long one so i changed mine up a little bit but um other than that i used the same basic um ground for my layout and that is another idea if you see layouts already um pre-done if you see artwork in the catalogs or online um and you like something just um take a picture make sure you give the person that designed it credit um so keep the name on it <laughs> and um just recreate it uh, use your own papers you know this is especially if you have leftover papers of a paper pack that you never wanted to part with because it's so beautiful this is a nice way to use up all your scraps and um put it on a page so or on a card for that matter you just have to don't scale it you know so this was my main inspiration and then um i had my vips um actually no this was for my ladies that i cop with once a month for christmas um as a christmas gift so they um got the pieces and had to put everything together so they got the um the layout sketch and then they had all their pieces and i will remove these here for a second so you can see i just put repositionable adhesive underneath here so this was the sweet memories paper and as you can see here so i just used some squares um just, i think there are three by fives and then a couple of small ones and kind of like basically mimicked you know this side and this side mine is a little bit smaller as you can see and another reason because I didn't have enough paper to go for full um what is this one here square is full three and a quarter almost yeah so I didn't have enough so I went with a smaller square but you can size it down you can size it up as much as you want therefore my frame around here is a little bit bigger than it was on the original design and um, then I just added a couple of extra embellishments so um, these are again cuts from one of our Cricut um, design uh, cartridges that close to my heart designed well now they're SVG files they're no longer cartridges but um, I took out these or I cut out these little um, photo frames the camera those flowers we have a bunch of um swirls and i actually the camera so i cut these ones out before too but they were same color as my background so they were disappearing and the same was with the camera so sometimes you design something and then you realize wait a second that's the same that's kind of like you know falling into the background so i changed the, the bottom part of the camera into the green and this is how they come um so you can see this is the backdrop for the camera and in this case it is the green and then you have an overlay that goes right on top and then the flower sits right here on top um, i use the white gel pen to add a little bit extra to my flowers and the camera but other than that the strip 
is also in that um, collection. And then we stamped the background with the same crackling stamp that I used with on the uh, layout with the owls. That's a background stamp. And I really love this one. This is from last year, no longer available, but you might find something similar. And you can use anything. I mean, if you have swirls, you, if you have, um, you know, the Parisian, some of those Parisian stems that are like um, old paper prints, something like this, just to offset here or a stencil, um, just to give it a little bit background and to fill the whole thing together. And um, yeah that was it so this can be a title or can be another photo or you can put your title down here but um this was a layout like i said that i designed for a christmas gift for my ladies and they had fun putting this together so we have three pictures here and we have three pictures here and they are four by sixes but if you have smaller ones you can always you know use three by fours instead or if you need another four by six instead of a, those two three by fours you can do a four by six and then this one just tucks underneath so when you adhere this I left this one open I didn't put adhesive under so I can tuck my picture underneath here and be done with it so this was another fun layout and it was just created or got it inspired by a layout that was actually something we have in the book that you can um, put together really quick and easy but i figured i really like the base design for it with the different colors and i wanted to try that so recap here's our layout with the flowers just something different as you can see they're all different but um depending on where we do those or for whom i design them um these are meant to be made by um people during the crop my ladies so um i have to be a little bit vigilant about the time we have and uh, you know that not everybody has the same um knowledge about how to use stems and other things it's for them to practice to get an idea and just to have fun and even those who never stem especially not on their layouts um they were pretty happy just using a little background stamp and having some fun or coloring in so you can color these in with markers you can color these in with um pencils or we use these little brushes here so um these are really fun to use and you just went on your regular ink pad and started to color them in and it goes really really fast number one and number two um, the shading comes automatically because you have little darker and lighter um, pieces and you also have some white in between which is totally fine w one problem that people sometimes have is they color everything into the point where um, you know everything is even and flat and if you don't leave white, if you don't have darker and lighter um, values on your image, it, it's a flat image. Um, this way it's more likely and more lively. And when you look at the, at the little heads up close, so these are actually colored in with coloring pencils and the owl themselves is colored in with ink and the little brushes. So always a new technique, always fun. And here's another one for an entire year layout or just 12 pictures of something you wanted to scrapbook whatever you want to do with it but just a couple of different ideas of layouts for you and if you have never tried this try to design this on the Cricut design um, that way you can see proportions really well so sometimes what people have issues with is I just use a you make a square 12 by 12 you pop in the photo sizes that you are planning to use and then you can take your camera you can take your um flowers and you can put them on there and you can see if they're too big if they're too small um if it even looks good um so you can play around and i know it takes a little bit of time 
but you can also change the colors to um, the color that you wanted to use to get a better idea if this will work with you know your pictures that you had in mind like here see the whole thing so it's not 100 percent, but i just wanted to get the idea so i know how big the camera has to be um or these flowers here if the circle is big too big or okay if this one is too big or needs to be smaller or bigger so you know there's a lot of advantages to try these all right that was a lot today um sorry if i bobble a little bit but these layouts are really fun to make and um i have done some of them like i said last year but i never shared them so i figured that's a good start into the uh, scrapbooking layout sharing and um, like i said if you would like to see one of these um as a technique video i'm more than happy to do i don't have all of them but i know i um still can do this one here the owl one i might be able to and also this one for sure uh, the other one i'm not sure if i still have enough papers to do this but we could use this to create a different layout with different papers so um if you want one of these kits uh like i said comment below and i will see if i still have one available and how i can get this to you and then um we can go from there thanks for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, I will make sure I put some of the still shots at the end of this video too. And I will see you back here next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.